Well, at least it was the best way to mute my music because I heard in the first video uh, a lot of people couldn't hear what I said uh, because of the music was too loud. Well, I'm sorry for that. In this video, uh, I will be talking without music and um, will be a lot more uh, pictures to show you about the markers, the markers of the Raptor Boss. Um, as I told you before, there are a lot of um, uh, circle back letter tail animals, some of the uh, Central American locality or uh, other morphs or line breeding animals. Um, that's why uh, I want to show you what I found in my animals that uh, tell me uh, what is a raptor and what's not uh, to help you understand uh, something, something more about this uh, trait. Well, at first, uh, let me show you some pictures that you can see. Uh, probably you can see the markers yourself, and afterwards I will tell you. Well, as you could have seen, the raptor balls all share the same markers. Probably the most obvious one is the, the letter uh, on the back. It's a connected pattern they all have. Uh, some are more extreme than others, uh, some even have uh, some side striping. And uh, also a thing I noticed, about 95% of my raptors have this striped tail. The end of the tail is uh, the, the section after the cloaca, it's uh, all striped. And uh, I guess that's also a, a big marker. Uh, okay, the next thing I want to show you is the the subtle markers on the on the head and in the eyes. So uh, watch these next pictures. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is the the belly of the raptor boa. The darker ones have a a pattern that's organized in a certain way. You will see in the pictures. The lighter ones, the pastelish animals, uh, lack almost all black, so that's why uh, their belly is almost uh, white and clear. Uh, you will see it in the next pics. Okay, now you know a little bit more about the raptor boas and their markers. Of course, the most interesting thing about the raptor boas is that they have a super form. Uh, technically, it is uh, the homozygous form of the raptor boa. It's called the super raptor boa, and I'm now going to show you some. Well, I guess it's uh, pretty obvious what a super raptor is. Uh, of course, you can see it has the, all the traits a raptor boa has, but done in the most complete and extreme way. Uh, the, the, the back pattern is uh, circle back, leather tail in the most perfect way. Uh, the side striping is completely from front to, to, the, to the end. And uh, now I'm going to show you also some things that are more subtle. Uh, the back, the, the belly of the super raptor and uh, the eyes, you might have noticed it already, but I will show it again. Uh, and, the, and the tail, I, will, I want to show you something about the tail. So uh, please stay tuned for the next pictures. You can have seen some uh, close-up pictures of the Super Raptors. Uh, first of all, the eyes. Uh, it's uh, pretty obvious. It's, uh, it has colored, colored eyes. It's a uh, red, uh, brown red eye. Uh, I'm not sure if they all will have it. Uh, in Super Jungles, uh, some have beautiful red eyes and some don't. So probably not all the Super Raptors will have it, but we have to see that in the future. Uh, they have a cross on the head. And uh, another thing is uh, the belly, you could have seen uh, the, the white uh, belly with also uh, little black dots at the sides. And uh, something is very uh, remarkable, it has a black underneath, a black stripe at the tail. 
and it is the same thing as uh, as we can see in the in the motley boas. Um, another thing, uh, maybe you have to see uh, the, the pictures another time, but at the sides of the tail, it's got the the like the shark teeth pattern, and it's uh, kind of cool, I think. And uh, well, we'll see more of this in the future. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. My next video will be about my breedings and I'll show you uh, some gooey pictures and some gooey videos and then you will all see uh, why I think, uh, well not why I say my, uh, my raptor boas are incomplete dominant. Well, thank you for watching and have a nice day.